Today we're turning this bag of parts into a chapel. So I wanted to start expanding the historic district of Fredericksburg, and I thought a small church would be a good choice. Currently the historic area only consists of the Octagon Community Center, and yes I know I'm out of room, but I do have a plan to expand in the future. Now in the real town of Fredericksburg there's a small historic chapel. I'm not sure if services still meet there or if it's just used for weddings, but either way I thought it'd be a great starting point. First I thought I'd build up some green plates to make a grassy hill, and then the sidewalk will go up a few stairs to the entrance. I guess I need to build the interior first, so I'll put down some tan wood flooring. And then I came up with a compact design for a pew. You can only fit one minifig on it because of their arms, but it looks like a good seat too. So I'll just make six of those and place them inside. And then we obviously need a podium up front. For the walls I'm using white masonry bricks, however I'm showing the single horizontal line instead of the brick pattern in order to imitate some shiplap siding. Then there's a transom window over the front door, and three double windows on each side. The steeple is suspended inward a little and utilizes the new 1x2 center stud bricks to hold a grill piece as some shutters. I assume the church bell is hidden inside. Before we add the roof, we need a simple wooden cross on the back wall. The roof comes apart in two halves which are simply sandwiched between the gable ends. Mine holds fine just from the friction, but I added a lip on each side in case it's not always like that. Also I patterned the tiles to try to imitate some shingles, and I filled this gap between the steeple with a slope piece. Now we can add a couple of flowering shrubs out front, and we have a pretty good looking chapel. It sits on a 16x32 base plate, and will easily fit into a LEGO city. I made instructions for this mock on Rubricable, so check the link out below if you're interested, and let me know what other historic buildings you think would go well with this in my Octagon Town Center.